morning guys welcome to today's video good morning look at that moth out there isn't it gorgeous that is a pretty that is gorgeous you guys god is a miracle worker you know who else is gorgeous you you are gorgeous no matter what you look like you are gorgeous a work of art a work of creation by god meant to live a specific life and to do amazing things just believe in yourself and do it you guys got to see in yesterday's video gabby jumped an amazing course at uh in a show arena and we got to pretend that we were going to a show and it felt amazing it felt amazing and she nailed it and she had so much confidence from having her trainer there and you can do the same thing go out there fake it till you make it and be who you want to be don't listen to the voice in your head telling you you can't do it don't listen to all the people on the internet telling you you can't do it don't listen to all the people in your personal life telling you you can't do it because i'm here to tell you right now you can do it you can do anything god created you to be able to do anything all of us let's just say um you know who the best person is who's the best person and then show a black screen and you can see your reflection in it yeah so it's you it's, <laughs> i see, know i'm if telling it's black, you use your reflection yeah so the best person is you yeah and they make the screen go black and I oh. always get confused. Oh, so I should have made the screen go black and say, do you know who the best person is? And then they would look in the screen and well, see their reflection. say, do you know who the best person is? And then. Sam is outside uh, working on fencing. He said that he was worried about some of the fencing not working. Girls be out there having breakfast, you guys. Love us some girls. We shot so much footage yesterday that I'm able to get a couple of videos, three videos out of one day. We rode for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half yesterday. We were on horseback while we were waiting for the arena to free up. And I was able to get three videos worth of footage, things that I want you guys to see. So there will be a video on Gabby's channel. I'm gonna edit that right now. Finish some editing and then today we have more plans, more fun, amazing things to do. Today is the thing that you guys have been asking us to do, or some of you guys have been asking us to do it. So today, we're gonna do it. We made plans with friends, and I'm excited to do this. Weekends are always the time that we get the most amazing, fun things done, because Sam's home to take us. <laughs> so we're actually late. Yeah, like, the life of a YouTuber. I actually spent a lot of time editing a couple of videos this morning. We need to be at the barn but we have to pick Gabby up. But first, we have to put the horses away. Like, things are crazy. Everything just gets crazy, you guys. It's like, when you're actually busy and you're working, there's so many things that happen. Like, it's not just the shooting. The editing and the processing, all the stuff that we did just gets crazy. Ah, uh -huh, Penny Pickle. How are you, princess? I'm coming. I'm carrying this stuff down for the pool. It was in my car. I also need to water my garden. Bye, sweet girl. Bye, sweet girl. Look at how much grass they've eaten down, you guys. They're making this field gorgeous. Oh my goodness. You're such a dirty girl. Oh. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She only goes if I'm in the right position, you guys. I have to be walking right behind her her shoulder or right beside her neck or wherever it is. It's the magic spot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's such a good girl. Say hi, Penny Pickle. Say hi, guys. Such a good horse. Well, let's take it out of here. We can't leave it here for the, for the horses. Mr. Ollie Cat ate a bird. Head. A bird's head. A robin. A robin. Throw it out there, let him eat it. Um, there's there he is. We tried to catch him last night so we could put some more flea medicine, flea and tick medicine on him. But you know, he's there eating his, eating his bird head. Aw, he wants to be pet. He's just scared. He's very standoffish. We are leaving. I'll be back. I'll give you a good brush, okay? You guys have a good nap. Things are going to probably get crazy fast. So I'm going to tell you guys this now before we leave. So I fell yesterday. After we picked up Chino, we ran to get coffee. And I ran into a store to get ice. 
and I tripped over the curb. They had this weird sidewalk thing. Tripped over the curb and I fell and I was going like fast and tried to save myself so my momentum was pushing me forward and it was like 7 a.m. and nobody was there except for one man. He was getting gas. I flew forward and I fell and I landed on this side. I don't know if you guys can see. I got like some a little bit of swelling and a bunch of no, Dad did. Bunch of scratches and stuff. And but I landed on my side, and it felt like I broke my rib. And it felt like it took my air away. Not like when you land and you lose your breath, but it felt like my rib was pushing into my lungs, which probably was happening. So anyway, I couldn't move. It was excruciating the pain. So Sam and the girls were Sam was at the coffee shop, and the girls were blocked from my view. They were in the car and they had no idea what was happening. So I just laid there because I couldn't get up. I felt like my rib was broken. I felt like my ribs were broken. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, how are we gonna do this day if I like am broken? And I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. And then I was thinking, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll just go with broken ribs if I can get up. Like, it was about two minutes of me just laying there. I had to roll around and like, it was embarrassing. I had to roll around and try and catch my breath and the man was standing far away and he was saying to me, are you okay? I just caught you fall. Are you okay? Do you need me to phone somebody? And I, I kind of felt like for a few minutes where I thought maybe I would die, I wanted him to come and like save me. But because of COVID, he had to stand like 16 million feet away and not approach me, but he was gonna call an ambulance for me. So he's saying, are you okay? Are you okay? And I can't speak because I have no air. And the pain is excruciating in my ribs like I can't breathe. But then I do this crazy thing, you guys. And I've done this ever since I had my very first baby is where I learned it. I have never had an epidural. I've just had natural births. And I've learned to be able to let go of the pain. So I laid there for a few minutes, rolled over onto my side to release some pressure from my ribs. And I laid there and I took a deep breath and I just relaxed. I let all the pain go away. It's this weird thing. Like I can't even describe how you do it. I let it all go away and then I felt it. It just all receded out of my body. Like it was like I was about to die. And two minutes later, I stood up, shook myself off and walked into the store like nothing happened. And I had no pain, zero pain. Like I have a bruise on this elbow. I have a bruise on this elbow. I have cuts here. My Both my shoulders feel kind of like they've been through a struggle and both of my knees have scabs and yet i don't feel hardly any pain at all i feel completely back to normal both of my ribs feel bruised and sore but i feel good i feel like i can get up there and live life like it's shocking the things that the human body can go through but my point is focus on what you want focus on what you believe I believe that it was all gonna recede and go away and I was gonna get up in just a minute and feel completely normal and I, I did have you ever done that before Sam Sam is not good with pain Sam feels pain I don't, like a little girl. he cries like a little girl but he doesn't get hurt very much but it's true like you can control the kind of pain that you feel. I believe it, you guys. I learned how to do it when I was in labor because it was either that or die. And I learned it and I think you guys could learn it too. Mind over matter. But anyway, we're headed there to the barn. First to pick up Gabby and Sam's gonna go get coffee. Did you know that? And then because Gabby probably is gonna need a coffee. Anyway, we're headed to the barn. We'll see you guys there. We'll do something super fun. Okay, so we're at the barn and we have Sophie and we picked up Gabby and we have, all right, who knows her name? Comment it below. Stop the video, comment it below because there's only one video with you in it before, right? Yeah, the town ride. Yeah, the town ride, that was so fun. Okay, so this is Chanel. How old are you, Chanel? Uh, 16. Cool name, love that name. She's 16. Are you almost 17 though? Almost 17 this year, yeah. So yeah. Perfect. Yeah, okay, awesome. Anyways, so you guys are gonna get to meet her horse again for the second time. What are you gonna teach us today, Chanel? I am teaching you braille racing, and I'm also gonna do an event called Keyhole. Keyhole? It's pretty fun, but. Ooh, super cool. Okay, so she's gonna show us that, and what are we gonna teach Chanel? Jumping. And who's, who's Chanel gonna jump? Storm. Storm, so we got a lot to do today. I wanna hold on, because he sometimes takes a long. <laughs> Well, they're Gabby. They're gonna. You gotta. You guys gotta tell her what to do so it doesn't take a long. All right, let's go get our horses. It's gonna be fun, you guys. This is gonna be like a super fun day. So Chino is taking the day off. 
we always give our horse after they've gone like on a long trailer ride or they've been to a show or been any place and done something extravagant, we always give them a few days off. So Chino will not be being ridden today or tomorrow. <laughs> Finn comes right around the corner. Shoot, we forgot to bring treats. Oh, there's two. Probably laying down in there. Oh, they're laying down in the shelter and all the other horses are keeping them safe. All right, so this is Boots? Yeah, this is Boots. Yeah, I know Boots because he sometimes comes up to me. He's a goofy boy. Yeah. He still has his baby brain. Yeah, Sophie's dream color with that beautiful white stripe. He has two new white spots on them though. He's never had them before. Oh, from in from like cuts and yeah. stuff? Uh oh. Alright, I gotta get out of here because I'm about to be attacked. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go get Storm? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go. You go with Chanel, Sophie. Oh look, he already wants me. They know me as the treat girl. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in there, Chanel. I'm going with Gabby for the long haul. Chino. Chino, Chino. Yeah, whenever you find Finn, you'll always find Chino. Chino, you have a nice rest, my love. You can stay here. You were a good boy yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yes. Should have brought you some treats, huh? All right, let's go get Stormy. Did I mess up his mane? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's not too far. Aww. Hi, Stormy Night. You guys, I can smell all the flowers. You can't see any flowers, but I smell something. It smells amazing. Our boy. Our sweet boy. Chino's over there. He's like, why did I'm so confused? What's happening in this world? Gotta get the shade where you can, right, Chino? Be standing in the shade. Yeah. Oh, you got a bite mark. Apparently somebody was mad that you left. You okay? Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. I'll bring you a treat. I'll bring you a treat. All right, you come to the gate. I'll go get you a carrot, okay? Because you deserve it after yesterday. You come to the gate and I'll bring you a carrot. So much has changed. For a while there, they all ran from us. Now they all come to us again. Winter is hard. Hey, handsome. Look. Chino, you like that girl? Hey, eh? you be liking a girl? There's a bee, don't land on him. See, I told you I'd bring you a snack. That's a bee flying him around. That's not good. Okay, don't touch that rope. Okay, so if it seems like I'm screaming, it's because my ears are plugged from allergies. All right, so is this the plan? You're gonna, we're gonna use a Western saddle on Finn, and they're both gonna learn to run barrels on Finn. And then we teach her, you and, and Gabby, and then we'll teach you to jump on Storm. Okay, okay? sound like a plan? So Chanel put her saddle on Finn, right, and, right. and it fits pretty good. He's yeah. a big boy. He's wide enough, so it might fit. And the saddle that I have was for my pony that I had before I got boots, so. Was he a big guy? Yeah. Super fancy. In the past, Finn has run barrels before. He was a barrel horse. He was owned by somebody who... I just have to hold on to the horse. So basically, Sophie just got to sit there and do what she tells you and Finn knows what to do. Suddenly, Finn is a western boy. He's like, I remember it. I remember. I don't think he remembers how heavy the western saddle is. We don't have a western saddle that fits him. So is that a snaffle? I don't know. So this is what I have been in. Yeah, we don't like that. We don't like the bit because it's a leverage bit. But Finn is a fast pony that doesn't like to slow down no matter who rides him. So we're we're gonna transition. Well, when we got him, he always did a dead stop. I know. And now he never wants to stop. Because he was not fit before, and he was not living his healthiest life. Now he's super fit and energetic, and he likes to go. But we've also changed saddles. We've done a lot of stuff. Anyway, it's a process. We got to get there through the process. But I love all your bits. So your locker's gonna come available then? Yeah. Oh, I like that locker. What do you think, Finn? Finn thinks, do you remember Finn? So we've done like 
pretend barrels with him before yeah. and I can tell he remembers um, his old owner said that he was not good at barrels like he wasn't but I can't imagine this horse not being good at anything he wants to do because he likes to do stuff we've never pushed him to be fast though because we're training him to be a hunter and he already does fast so we're trying to slow him down and yeah. some people are gonna say it's not good to do this with him and speed him up but I don't know. I think it's good for Finn's mental health to do something different. And who knows? Maybe we'll see that he doesn't really want to be a hunter. Although, he, I think he is a hunter. All right, Stormy Boy. This is Chanel. And you're going to have to be good to her. <laughs> no shenanigans. Okay? Are you afraid? Are you nervous? <laughs> so Chanel actually wants to learn to jump. I jumped before on Donnie, but bareback. Never really ridden an English saddle. Oh wow, this is gonna be huge. You excited? You excited for today? You're getting a new rider today. We have our boots on and we'll kill set. videos from yesterday with Gabby and Chino that I still need to post so we might get a couple of days behind know that everything's gonna come out in a weird schedule we'll, we're behind a bit oh. Sophie here and we have Sam and we dropped Gabby off at home and she's chilling I only really came because that's why we go to the dollar store so I can get but one interesting thing that we have found so in the last two weeks how many people have ridden Finn three three people have ridden Finn and they all say, holy heck, he's a really hard horse to ride. And uh, everybody says, Sophie rides him best. They all think Sophie rides him best because she, she knows him. So uh, that's huge, you guys. Like, that's so telling. I'm in love with this Noble Outfitter shirt. So you can't buy it. It's gorgeous. I just, I just got to buy clothes. I got to buy clothes. They told me if I wanted anything behind the caution tape, all I had to do is order it a specific way and I can get it. I bought two shirts. I can't get over it. I was looking at Chino's bit the other day. It's just a snaffle, but he plays with it so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna look and see if we can find something just as soft, but something that he seems to like better. So we're in the tractor supply store, TSC. I had to, I had to ask, so I'm getting this. It was very soft. So so Sophie found all these squishies, which she's never been able to find. And an infinity hoop. A hoop. horse one with a unicorn. unicorn. And then an infinity hoop, which doesn't work right now because we need to take this part off. Okay, and then what's that? It's a giant squishy How needle. much are they all? They're like 2 to $3 somewhere. Did you count it up and make sure you have enough money? Yes, I know I have enough money. All right, so this I like found... $1. So I found these on the discount table. And you guys know that I want these so that I can clean Gabby's boots when she goes into the show ring. And I want another dog bed. And this one's only 20 bucks. This one's 50 bucks because it has a cooling side. And this one just is normal. This has cut open on this. So should I get one of these? Uh, because Molly one. sleeps in our the white room now. Good or that one? Well, the problem with the white is that they get dirty. Why are you asking me? Because I like I like opinions. So Sophie and I are like giddy. Are so giddy because we like got to buy some stuff. Sophie said, hey, how come you were allowed to buy toys? I don't know. 
They let her buy toys. They weren't. They yeah. weren't. They were there at the checkout. They were at the checkout and they were allowed. This was on the half price table, and so instead of 20 bucks, it was 10 bucks. The bottle's kind of messed up. Anyway, it's leather conditioner. It's probably all dry. It's Better not be dry. Yeah. But I'm gonna put these right in our tack trunk for shows, so that when Gabby goes out there, I can wipe off her boots. Look how good this is. There's slime in it. I thought it was gonna be gel. Let's but see. I love it. It has air. Oh, it's nice. It's strawberry squishy. I ended up getting the other one of those. Even I'm addicted to squishy, so I don't know. Yeah, Anyways. Glow in the dark. So look what I got, Sam! What? I got clothes! How can you buy clothes? They told me if you want to buy clothes, this is what you got to do. And I had to go outside and then pick it up outside. I had to do curbside pickup. I was able to order it in the store and curbside pick oh. it up, pick it up. So they have Noble Outfitters. You guys know how much I like my old Noble Outfitters. Oh, here's my lemon one. V-neck t-shirt. They were 20 bucks each and I was like, please, please. <laughs> I want a black one and a gray one. You're not allowed to touch them or look at them or anything like that. But I was able to see them from afar and tell them I want these t-shirts. So I got two new t-shirts. Love them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?